Coming up in ViewCast, see a powerful new weapon in the fight against malaria and the unique way Vanderbilt is bringing it to Africa. Why this little cutie is getting a big award. And hear the song sending the Vanderbilt Melodors into the national spotlight. Hi, I'm Amy Wolf with ViewCast. It's a terrifying statistic. Every minute a child dies of malaria, and it's a disease that's preventable and curable. A special team here at Vanderbilt is in the thick of the fight against malaria and other diseases with the help of a 3D printer. Every day, 1,300 children die from malaria. That's the death toll of three World Trade Center attacks a week. These shocking numbers are why Zambian scientist Priscilla Lomano Malenga is working with Vanderbilt researchers. So it was not an easy decision to leave a husband and three children. She has a life changing goal. What inspired me is I want to, to see a Zambia free of malaria. But on the horizon, there is hope with this device. I guess, Priscilla, as we, as we think about whether or not this test... Vanderbilt chemist Joseph Conrad and Priscilla are part of a cross-continental team developing a device enhancing existing malaria tests. These tests work great because they don't require any electricity, they don't require clean water or advanced technical skills. Some tests work better than others. And so what, what we found was that our process could enhance the best tests to make them perform even better, and it could enhance the, the lower performing tests and make them perform adequately. Allowing users to get clear results in minutes. And it makes the test, the, the typical malaria diagnostic test, work more effectively. Even before a patient shows any symptoms. Not only do we get a darker line, but we get a clearer line that indicates an individual is infected with malaria or not. Earlier detection will help people get treated faster, saving lives, and... We're actually preventing the transmission of the disease. But how do you get this device into the hands of people who need it most? This 3D printer. We think 3D printing in low resource environments is very unique. Researchers in Zambia will simply print out the devices. That we could actually prototype and design devices here in our labs at Vanderbilt and then transfer those design files over email to our collaborators in Zambia and they could print them out and the very next day go out and field test those designs. Conrad and his family just returned from a month-long trip to Zambia, setting up the 3D printer. We've gotten all the pieces in place to do good work. That printer is now at the Macha Research Institute. It's almost 40 miles from the nearest paved road. And they have a fully functioning molecular biology and biochemistry lab intact out there. Priscilla will return to Zambia to work with local teams fighting malaria. You go into the community other than waiting for people to come into the facility. Malaria isn't the only disease that will use this technology. With aid from the National Institutes of Health, Conrad is expanding this research to improve HIV tests, and it could help fight Ebola. Those global initiatives are really scaling up just around this time where our technology is showing some promise. Joseph, a longtime Peace Corps volunteer in Zambia, wants to help the country that means so much to him. I'm excited personally to be able to kind of come full circle from my life as a volunteer now to my life as a professional, working with a people and a country that is still very close to me. For Priscilla, it's about changing the future of her homeland. At least they will be proud to say that their mom was actively involved in the process. 
the process of saving lives. Learn how you can help fight malaria on malarianomore.org. Follow the researchers in the Vanderbilt Zambia Network for Innovation and Global Health Technologies on vanderbilt.edu slash vznight. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. A pint-sized Vanderbilt University Medical Center volunteer is wagging over a big national award. We first introduced you to Swoosh the Therapy Dog a few months ago. He was helping five-year-old Bryce through his weekly chemotherapy treatments at the Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt. Now Swoosh is the recipient of a Top Dog Award from the National Animal Medical Center. Vanderbilt has been conducting research on the scientific benefits of pet therapy, especially with kids. Learn more about this research and the nonprofit Education Center honoring Swoosh at news.vanderbilt.edu. Search pet therapy. Their hashtag says it all. The Vanderbilt Melodors are feeling a lot of mellow love after becoming the first ever college a cappella group to win NBC's The Sing Off. The group clinched the win with a goosebump creating rendition of Take Me to Church. Want to hear more Melodors? Go to YouTube and search Vanderbilt Melodors. You can see exactly how the Melodors won the sing-off by watching the full show on NBC.com slash sing-off. For ViewCast, I'm Amy Wolf. Who you with?